I don't know what the hell's going on with my camera, but whatever. So I don't know if it just recorded or not, but let's do it again. This is for Buddha lovers. Buddha lover. She wanted to know um, about my blushes. So this is a request video. So I'm just going to go over what I have and what I use. So yeah, and I have this wig on and this makeup because um, I was doing a Sigma um, entry, contest entry, and I'm trying to do um, some twist on my hair underneath this. I'll do a video on that later. It's the first time. Anyways, so that's why I just threw this on. Whatever. Looking crazy. And I did my Tina Turner contest entry for Twinkies 2003 wearing this last night. So y'all definitely check that out. That is the most funniest shit you ever want to see. It's hilarious. Okay, back to the blushes. And I got my little midget right here. I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, I can. Because she's crying. Say hi, mini butts. She's all dirty. Say I dirty. She's a bear. So I have six shadows. And they're all from MAC on this palette. Got hair in it. I've got Laid Back, Love Thing, Raisin, Sweetest Cocoa, Ambering Rose, and Desert Rose. And the little white piece of paper tells me which ones they are. And as you can see, I use Sweetest Cocoa, Raisin, and Ambering Rose a lot. So as far as applying blush and picking the colors of blush you want to use, um, my rule of thumb for me is if it's going to be a dramatic, if it's going to be a dramatic look where the eyes are going to be really bold, like right now, then I'm going to use something that's uh, more my skin tone with just a little bit of a pop to it, if that makes any sense. More of like a neutral color. So the color that I used for um, right now for this look was uh, Sweetest Cocoa, which is the bottom middle one. Can you see that? Yeah, the bottom middle one. And that's more of like a brownish pinky type of a color so that it's not too much, you know what I mean? Um, hold on, she wants down. So, the brushes that I use to apply my brush um, is I use um, just the angle brush that I got from Crown Brushes. And the way you see people apply blush is totally different. Um, I'm not an expert, but the way I apply it is I just put them on the brush and suck in where you can see your cheekbones which I have big cheeks anyways, or you can smile and just put it on the apple and go up. Now, I went to a makeup, um, to MAC one day, and she told me that you should, the way you should really do it is from the, like you're looking forward from your iris to your nose. There should be no eyeshadow, I mean no blush in that area. So from here to here, there should be no blush. You don't want any blush in that area is what she said. So, I mean, if you want to do that, then you would just go like that maybe and just kind of blend it out, you know? And with me, if you put too much blush, you can always just get a powder brush and go into your powder and then just kind of buff it, you know, to um, lighten it up if you put too much. And, but I like blush, so I mean, whatever. The second thing that I do is I contour, and I'm new to that, but I'll show you what I do. Is I'll take a brown shadow, a matte shadow, it has to be matte, like this one here. And contouring just basically well, just shows your features more. Like a lot of drag, drag queens do it, but I have fat cheeks. So I just kind of like to give it a little bit of definition through here. So again, with that same angle brush, all I do is go and you just want to put a little bit of time because it shows pretty quickly, see that? And then just kind of blend it out in that line. Because you don't want it to be a harsh line. Like that. Can you see? And then some people go, they blend it up. 
or they blend it down, like depending on what they're going for, like that. And then they could do the, you can do it there if you wanted. Oh, it's still got red on there, but you get the gist. If you can, you can do that to make your jaws. Like if you have a um, double chin or whatever, you can contour around this way to kind of take to make a shadow, take the focus off of that. So yeah, um, what else can I tell you? That's really about it for me and blush. Um, if you have any other questions about it, please, please feel free to um, ask me. So um, yeah, hope that was helpful. So you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later.